So you may remember that several weeks ago we heard a story about Samuel and how God spoke to him, but he didn't understand what was going on. Eventually, he realised that God was speaking to him and wanted to keep speaking to him throughout his life. As Samuel grew up, he saw Israel want a king to rule them, and he helped God pick Saul as king. And for a while, Saul did well as king. He had nice armour, he looked the part. However, he turned away from God. And this is where our story begins today. God spoke to Samuel, fill your flask with anointing oil and get going. I'm sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem. I've spotted the new king. I want to replace Saul among Jesse's sons. Go to Jesse's sons and tell them you are going to lead them in worship of God. Make sure Jesse gets invited. I'll let you know what to do next. I'll point out the one you are to anoint and make the new king. So Samuel did what God told him. And when he arrived at Bethlehem, everyone greeted him, but they were worried. Is, is there something wrong? They asked. Nothing's wrong. I've come to lead you in the worship of God. Prepare yourselves and join me in worship. He made sure Jesse and his sons were also called to worship. When they arrived, Samuel took one look at Eliab, Jesse's eldest son, and thought, Here he is, God's anointed. He is tall and strong, definitely the right one. But God told Samuel, Looks aren't everything. Don't be impressed with his looks and stature. I'm not choosing him. God judges people differently than humans do. Men and women look at the face. God looks into the heart. Jesse then called up Abinadab and presented him to Samuel. He had shiny skin, but Samuel said, this man isn't God's choice either. Next, Jesse presented Shammah. He was really fast, but Samuel said, no, this man isn't the one either. Then Jesse presented three of his boys who were good at football, but Samuel shook his head. Finally, he presented his son, who was a ninja. And yet again, Samuel said, God hasn't chosen any of these. Then he asked Jesse, is this it? Are there no more sons? Well, yes, there's the little one, said Jesse, but he's out looking after the sheep. Samuel ordered Jesse, go get him. We're not moving from this spot until he's here. Jesse sent for him. He was brought up, the very picture of health, bright-eyed, good-looking. God said, up on your feet, Samuel, anoint him. This is the one. Samuel took his flask of oil and anointed him, with his brothers standing around watching. The Spirit of God entered David like a rush of wind, God vitally empowering him for the rest of his life. And Samuel then left and went home. You see, the point of our story is that God has shown that it doesn't matter what is going on on the outside, whether we're good at football or really fast, God looks at our hearts and cares most that we love him because he loves us so, so much.